Wanna learn how to make high quality and modern 3D animations that AI can copy? Well, let's find out how. AI can completely make an anime already. It scares a lot of artists and makes us think that we need to level up our artwork. On the contrary, the anime industry has improved a lot as well. Let's take a look at Makoto Shinkai films. Do you think AI can just copy this without being able to tell that it's made with AI? Well, maybe, but not too soon. There is also this thing that I wish I had known before. If you notice modern anime today like Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan, and a lot of Makoto Shinkai anime films, they use 3D a lot in their scenes. 3D has become a part of the anime industry already and will be necessary now to combat AI to make animation that is truly looking amazing and saves a hell lot of time. Well, here's the secret to 3D anime shading. Hey guys, I'm Tadayoshi CJ and welcome back to another video. I have a question for you. Do you really know how to make an anime scene? Now, modeling and shading is easy. But before doing those, we need to know how anime scene really look like. Before we start, can you tell me what looks more anime here? If you choose this one, you're getting the vibe of it. Here's a reference. Notice the bevels? It's lighter in color than the base color. Here's another one. Another one. And another one. Now you're getting the vibe of it. But we're still far from our goal. So lighter colored bevels are important to achieve an anime look. I will teach you step by step how to achieve this. First, a cube. And we will put bevels on it. Apply your base material. Make an attribute for the edges. And prick the edge shader. Now, we have our base anime shading. Here's a challenge for us. Now we will have 5 steps. If it's red, it's not yet done. If it's yellow, it's on process. If it's green, it's done. Add your reference. First into anime, look. So check the bloom, set it into point 0.2. Go into the world properties. My color is color white. And this rank is 0.6. And my sunlight has a strike of 2. So step 1, let's add a cube. Let's scale this here and let's rotate it. Step 2, bevels. Go into the modifier, search for bevel. Set the amount for. But before we continue, as you could see in the viewport shading, the bevels are not evenly distributed. So in order to fix this, press Ctrl A, all transforms, then set origin to center of mass surface. Then could shade smooth this by angle. Let's reduce the amount to around 0.04. And now we have this object. Step 3, go into the shading. Let's make anime wood shading here. So this video has two tutorials, anime wood shading and the bevel design for anime objects. Let's continue let's add a noise texture here first ctrl t color ramp and set this into color then from the texture coordinate connect the object to the vector and scale it on y axis you notice on the top part here it's not aligned on the other faces of this object so make sure that these x and y values have the same scale so in this case let's try to make it 10 and for the z axis this is just stretching and we're going to make this to around 0.4 now we're getting the vibe of it right by the way if this is too fast for you feel free to pause the video anytime and follow the steps let's try to face the sun towards there so that we have the same shadow here now another technique for anime shading is that if you want to make the shadow part here a lot darker you may want to decrease the strength of your world properties but that might cause a lot of problems in other parts of your scene right so a good practice here is to add a shader to rgb use and a color ramp once again connect these three then after these three nodes mix these two and set it into multiply and now we could manually adjust the darkness of your shadow hell you could even change the color of your shadow you could see if you rotate our sun our wood texture looks very smooth right by the way i'm going to change this into point 2 first then select these four nodes copy by pressing shift d then add the bump node here set the color into height then connect the normal to the normal of the principal bsdf now you can see the difference we are having a bump nodes here while rotating our sun so here's with normal and here's without as you could see the difference so let's connect this 
lastly we're going to just set the color of this and make this much tighter if you're wondering why we have a different colors here it's because my color management here is set into standard also i forgot to mention set your shadows into like this and voila magic so here's our full node setup for the base shading so i will just explain it to you everything so as you can see this is the part that we did but i just added this kind of node setup to give it a painterly texture have that watercolor effect on our anime shading so as you can see if i scale this and if i change or if i change the vectors here the details of this one as well the details on my noise texture for example like this and if i set my details on my noise something like this would happen you could see the difference there so it gives like that painterly texture oil pastel texture on our scene but let's undo that and here's my setup you can just simply copy this so another noise texture here connected here add means we are adding the two light colors of the color ramp and excluding the black color here so as you could see my diffuse shader color ramp is connected here then once again this multiply is connected on the add here why so that if our sun is rotating as you could see let's spin this so that if you press the sun you can still see it so if we rotate our sun the oil texture here almost disappears on the shadow and it will drastically appear once again on the light part of the object where the sun direct stores on it so you could pause the video here and copy my node setup once again now for step four we're going to assign an edge attribute here at a geonode here so geonodes are modifiers so if you rename this automatically rename on the modifier properties as well so let's name this wood now if you press n here if you notice the circle is in front of the name here means it's an input so let's add an attribute here then color up so connect the color here Control shift left click nothing happens right open the output attributes here name it pebbles this one makes it black meaning there's nothing on it but if we add an edge angle here and connect it to the unsigned you would now see a lighter color in the bevels well another problem rises here if we increase the amount you could see a triangle shape here that's a lot lighter and you won't even fix this by just moving the color on so you could try to add a map range here so map range is like a contrast in values so but here map range just acts a factor for our node setup now let's add a capture attribute here and shift D once again and just set this into edge now attribute to unsigned angle then here attribute to the value now it seems like nothing happens but if we duplicate this two it softens so meaning we need to soften this as much as possible so how can we do that search for repeat zone and add here Geometry, with value, click it here, then geometry, value to unsigned angle. Then let's simply plug this here as well. Result to value. Now, the iterations here could simply decrease the amount here, and as you could see, the bevels are the same color already. Could make this smaller around point GX step 5 for step 5 this is pretty simple first of all let's mix this two then set it into add and connect it to the principal base diff once again now as you could see you already have this one but it's not finished of course i think we should set this into around 10 only we could now make this a little bit of yellow in color and now how could we break the edges here add a noise texture ctrl t color ramp color then mix this two and set it into multiply set it into multiply factor to one and let's bring this up here let's make this constant bring the white color into the middle part of the color up so as you could see we are breaking the edges now here you could also set it into is add a lot more details you could set the rest around 
1.7 and set the detail a lot more and there you go could try to set this into 1.5 make this add into one and transfer this here and just a little bit there you go you already achieve your anime wood shader and now once you have achieved this you might want to extrude this and select these edges and extrude faces along our mouse and now a new problem arises here like this subdivide so in order to fix this subdivision surface let's try it into around four and trial and error once again find the perfect spot for it so what are the difference of subdivision surface and subdivide mesh of course we're going to find that out as you could see for subdivide mesh around six levels but while in subdivision surface it only took about around four and of course could adjust your head crease and vertex crease so it's a way handier to rather than the other one in this case and we're done wait wait what there's a lot more steps all right um guys the Yoshi says he will teach the whole process in the next videos so what are we waiting for? Make sure to like and subscribe to get notified. But wait, wait. I do really have something for you. If you want to get this advanced version of this tutorial, where the gray parts here are only accessible in the advanced version. We also have a switch here to make it more realistic. And there's also a sparkling effect here where it's your choice on how many you want to add on it. If I rotate the sun, it will disappear on the dark side but it will appear once again on the lighter side so this is not just the best but the ultimate anime shading which will be available at the ultimate anime package this has a limited time offer right now and only have a limited seats for student you will get unlimited yes unlimited anime files anime courses and anime assets so what are you waiting for check the description below so that you can start your anime journey as early as possible so i hope you learned a lot in this tutorial and see you soon